Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we see how friend of the show, John Barman, brought sophisticated style into his client's family home. This loft space in the Flatiron District is filled with surprises throughout. He proves once again that comfortable, family-friendly design can be chic and elegant. See for yourself. Hi, I'm interior designer John Barman. Welcome to my client's apartment here in the Flatiron District. This apartment was a conversion of two separate units into one large loft-like residence that's modern, colorful, comfortable, and exciting. A perfect place for a young, growing family. Let me show you what I did. Inspired design should begin the moment you step in with immediate eye-catching details. In this entry, I installed dark linear wood paneling opposite the front door to set a dramatic tone and carve out a visually distinct area. It also serves as the perfect backdrop for the artwork. If you have the space, seating is always great in an entry. I placed a small bench under this playful gesture mirror surrounded by display shelves. It breaks up the dark embrace of the wood and hints at the bright release of the living room. Follow me. The first thing you notice here is the curved wall and expansive windows which give a panoramic view of Lower Park Avenue. We installed electric solar shades which disappear when they're up and we use this large windowsill as a display area for occasional art and objects. It's so hard to integrate televisions into good design, but we were lucky this well-centered wall broke up the windows. Now the client can have the view and the TV too. Usually you don't get both. At nearly 4,000 square feet, this is by no means a small apartment, so I had plenty of room to work. But despite the generous proportions of the entertaining spaces, you have to keep things at a human scale so that the rooms feel inviting and comfortable. After all, comfort is the key to a successful living room. We brought in ample seating so you can really sink into everything. But furniture placement should be open enough so that guests can mix and mingle without bumping into each other. And color has always been the key to my aesthetic, but I like color to accent spaces with memorable pops. This gray sofa and area rug serve as a neutral background for the pops of yellow and blue in the pillows and accessories. By contrast, the vibrant yellow sofa anchors the other seating area and makes the mid-century end tables and lamps seem even more interesting and inviting. Another example of the contrast that I love so much can be seen right here in the dining room. This modern table and chairs pairs wonderfully with the mid-century chandelier. We continue the linear wood paneling of the entry for the buffet, and it along with the sideboard frames the dining room and gives it a distinct sense while still being a part of the overall entertaining space. This kitchen had to serve a few purposes at the same time. It had to be family friendly enough for kids to hang out in. That means durable and easy to maintain from the floors to the walls. It also had to be convenient and inspiring because my client is an avid cook. And finally, because it's open to the other entertainment areas, it had to have a sense of style. People, after all, always drift into the kitchen. It is, as they say, the heart of the house. This kitchen was designed from scratch. The white lacquer cabinets and walls and the glass floor reflect light beautifully. And as an added bonus, you can even spot the dining room chandelier. A pop of color comes from the breakfast nook table. The banquet is not just comfortable, it's practical. It's the perfect place for kids to plop down after school and a great place for the entire family to eat. Family apartments don't have to be littered with toys. They can be chic and sophisticated while still maintaining their sense of fun. I really hope you enjoyed seeing how I did that here. Thanks for coming. <laughs>